on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at York Hall today for the WSB event with me, who has just represented the British Lion Hearts on a on a world stage and won on a points decision. Mr. Peter McGraw, how are you? What's happening, Sonny, mate? I'm all like that. Good. Good. I'm great, thank you. Good, good. Um, a shutout points performance against a, a tough Moroccan. Yeah. He, he was game. I know, man. If Aiton made a few good shots there and a few good body shots and he just kept coming, man. He was, he was a um, strong fella, like, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm only young now, I'm 20, so I'm just, I'm just happy to get the win. Obviously, I know you had it tough when you first came into WSB. You didn't have no easy pickings. Nah. I know you believe that one of the ones you lost, you should have won. Yeah. But uh, tonight, back to winning ways, and how would you feel? Yeah, the, the record was 1-1 uh, last three, weren't it? Should have been 2-2, two 100%. Two, but um, happy to get the wins up to two, you know what I mean? So, 1-2 one last three now, and I'm not looking to lose this season. The plan is win, win, win all the way. I feel like I'm getting bigger, I'm getting stronger, I'm getting more experience, going around the world, boxing men and just happy with the performance, happy to get the win and get the five rounds out. Obviously I think people forget uh, how young you just are because of how much how yeah. much you've done in your, in your short career, yeah. but um, like I said you've got the win tonight and a big WSB ahead and obviously there's 2020 coming up, yeah. how much are you looking to prove to people what you can do? Uh, I feel like I haven't, um, feel like I haven't given me a chance, you know what I mean, I've never um, at youth level got the Youth Olympic bronze, got the Youth World bronze and um, as a senior I just I don't think I haven't had my chance yet, you know what I mean, of all the tournaments I've been to, just like Stranger, Tamar and that, not like, not like majors, I've won them, got the gold medal, so uh, I'm looking forward to getting to the majors this year in the summer, the Europeans, get top 8, definitely qualify for the Worlds and just see where I am in the seniors, you know what I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be up there. Obviously people can't tell really by the accent. Uh, from Merseyside, uh, Liverpool Town. Um, on the weekend, there was a, a massive fight, obviously, between uh, Liverpool's Tony Bellew yeah, and, you and Hay. David Hay. Liverpool got the win, obviously, yeah. Hay taking it home. What, what was the, what's the reaction been like at home? Uh, everywhere in Liverpool, man. I thought, like, I didn't know how many people liked Tony Bellew, you know what I mean? I didn't know how, how many people knew him on that. And literally everyone I've spoken to has been like, did you watch the fight? Did you watch the fight? I've seen videos of it in pubs, everyone cheering like they were at the match. Uh, it was boss, boss, boss for the city, you know what I mean? Everyone's made up for him. And it's, it's good for the boxing in Liverpool, you know what I mean? It's good for the likes of me. We've got Tom Hart on GB playing Ireland. All the up and coming fighters, you know what I mean? Because that's the route that's only value to e box for the country and that. And look where he is now, so I'm sure that's where, where all the sparring to get to. Obviously, we're still about three, three and a bit years away from uh, Tokyo 2020. Yeah. Like I said, tonight you put on a, a great performance. How, how good can you be by, by then? I feel like from last year, I've improved leaps and bounds, you know what I mean? So, in the three, three years by the time Tokyo comes, with all the WSB experience, Commonwealth Games, the Europeans, the Worlds, I just I'm going to be wet miles better than there's nothing but a medal on my mind in that Tokyo 2020. Are you looking for all gold? What am I looking for? All gold. Ah, uh, 100%. 100%. That's all we go for, do you know what I mean? Gold on the mind. I yeah. like it. Gold is on the well, mind. Well, um, another scouser that's uh, leaving, who looks like he's leaving the WSBC. We can't say anything until he's actually gone. But um, Anthony Fowler. Yeah, Fowler, you know, man. One of your pals on the, uh, yeah, yeah. On the thing. Yeah, I just win him every week. I think, I'm not sure, I don't know where he's saying that, but I'll be, be gutted to see him leave the setup. you know what I mean? If, if he leaves, like, he's uh, one of the boys, man. We have a laugh. Me, me and Pat and Luke. Tom Hart, Blaine, as I say, everyone, we all have a laugh, man, and just want to wish him all the best, I'm sure I'll be with him all the way. Do you think the uh, pros will suit him more if he does go that way? Yeah, pros all around, which just suits him, he's a strong fighter, you know what I mean, he's just a big, strong man, and pretty sure he's going to go far, he's got the profile, he's got the look, and he's got the skills, and he's got the power, so just wish him all the best, man, and I'll be supporting him all the way. All right, then, mate, well, listen, well done tonight, obviously, yeah. best of luck in the, uh, know, in the rest of the season. I know, I can see, yeah, you got a few like, war wounds. Look like I've been hit with a few heavy shots, I hope I never like That's right, it's a story you can tell the birds, isn't it, when you go? I know, uh, I know, I've got my bird up there, so... Oh, 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 yeah, no, just, just that bird, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, well, listen, Peter, thank you for coming to IFL TV, and yeah. I'll catch up with you soon. Sounds Top man.